Hello everyone, welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, it's been a couple weeks, two or three weeks. Um, my schedule's been busy. I honestly have not had no time. I just got done with a nine day uh, work week. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little video here. Uh, already got the mold set up. I got some plastic. Should be heated up to temperature. Double check that real quick. It looks like it. Yep. So I'm just gonna make a like I say a quick little video. I got an order I got to get done, uh, but I'm doing a couple of just sample colors to see you, you know, see how it's gonna look and make sure it's exactly what the customer wants because it's a it's a pretty big order. So I just want to make sure it's gonna look right um great you know great body with a yellow tail so just get everything mixed up um anytime i have bigger orders uh like this one they want at least 150 of them and anytime it's going to be that many i'd rather just go ahead and make a small little sample run you know make 10 or 12 or whatever and do like a light for example the grape body i want to do a real light color grape you know maybe a little bit darker color grape and let them just to make sure they're getting exactly what they want you know because i mean 150 baits of the same color is a lot of baits so you don't want to send a customer something that's too dark or you know not dark enough um anyway this is going to be one of those one of those uh let's see if you can see but one of those multicolored baits well i say multicolored it's going to be yellow tail and a and a um a grape purple body all right throw this in the in the vacuum chamber real quick like i said i'm gonna try to make this video uh short i don't want you know real long because i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on i'm just my little homemade vacuum chamber it works that's all that matters i need to clean my dang lens on it of course it shouldn't have many air bubbles i just want to make sure yeah it looks pretty good um, anyway, for those of you who ain't never seen my vacuum chamber, it's just something I made. Pump up there. It works. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, same with my, you know, I got my cooling plates here that I made. Simple setup. Pump. Very simple setup. All right. See if I can get you a good camera angle. Mm, I don't trust that angle. All right, I'm gonna try to make that angle work. I might need to set you up on a couple of molds or something just to get a better angle. This is actually a, a brand new mold also, I mean, hit that for about 20 seconds these are actually um new molds this is a ringworm uh four and a half inch ringworm mold this i don't believe i've featured on a video yet uh if i have then it's okay uh this is a three inch uh stick bait mold i have a couple other ones that's fairly new that i don't know if i've uh showed yet so i'll i'll show them in just a minute we're gonna pour this body real quick and bear with me as far as all this shaking about i mean i ain't trying to make you dizzy there we go all right let's see what we can do here should have started with the other mold first Enough for 
No, I didn't think I would have enough for that one, but we'll still see if this is going to be the right combination. Because the order I've got is actually for the uh, ringworms, but, you know, it works for, as far as seeing the uh, color combination, right, it works just for um, any of them, really, just to throw it together. Um, like I said, I'm not going to make this very long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Once these are ready, and we got it ready for, uh, for the purple, then I'll, we'll come right back. Alright, we're back. We got the molds ready. Just going to see if we can mix up a, uh, let me see. The customer said he wants a uh, grape with yellow tail i found this let's see if you can see it it's so it's purple it's almost a pink but that's a bass pro shops um grape and yellow color you know of one of their worms so i'm gonna attempt to do something similar to that purple first and see and then i might go a, a shade darker and see about 40 all right that might work I might not even try a couple different ones I mean if I like the way this first run look I might just stick with that because I mean that looks pretty good let's see how that's gonna look Um, I'm still going to add a little bit more. Alright. Just to try to thicken it up a little bit. But I think I'm going to stop right there and see how it looks with 50 drops. Alright. Keep on bumping the camera. Alright, let's heat her back up. Because I have a sour grape color, but it's real light. You know, it's like... It, it's very light color, and I think it will be too light. But who knows, sometimes you got to mix some of those light colors up with dark just to get, uh, just to get what you're looking for. Let's see... Try to get this lined up. Check this temperature. Cause when you when you uh doing something like this where you're you're basically welding the two plastics together, you need to have the uh one you're about to shoot, you need to have it very hot. Um this is bait plastics blend, you don't have to have it near as hot, but I'm still gonna run it probably close to about 380 somewhere in there I try not to go over 400 I mean sometimes you you uh, you end up going over 400 I mean these plastics as long as you're not steady constantly reheating that temperature they're usually pretty good about uh, about handling the, the 400 degree That's 380. 
I'm gonna try it right there. And you also wanna hold a few extra seconds of pressure just to make sure you get that good bond. Because I mean, 380 degrees. That's plenty. Oh, I think that's gonna be the perfect purple grape color, in my opinion. But my opinion don't count. So we'll we'll see what the customer thinks. But man, that looks good. 50 drops to three quarters of a cup. I think is is pretty good. But we will see. I should have went ahead and shot this worm while I was at it. Damn. I honestly forgot about that one that fast. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I'll shoot it real quick. That's the beauty of having other uh, other injectors. I need a smaller. I got a six, tens. It wouldn't hurt if I had like a you know like a smaller maybe a four or something like that just for small little runs i don't know if this is going to be enough oh yeah because that little this little mold right here even though it's a small three inch worm it it takes a decent little amount of uh of plastic let me top these all. I like that color of grape. Yeah, I like that color of grape. Uh, while we're giving that a second, I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've showed this one or not. But this is one of my recent molds I got a few weeks ago. And I might have uh, featured it on my last video. I really don't know if I did or didn't. But this mold is, it's got a neat look to it. But uh, one thing I will say about this mold because of, I mean, I don't know if you can, I mean, that is a fat body on it. And it's so short. The best thing that I found to do with those style worms, honestly, is put them on a jig and i mean you can see the body now it's it's great on a jig you know um and you could probably use a um you know a stout smaller uh flipping hook you could probably use one with it but uh personally for myself i'm just going to use it on these jigs i mean it's got a real nice fat body profile you know give them something extra to hold on to so I'll, I'll use it for that for myself but anyway i didn't know if i had uh if i had showed this one or not like i say it's been a few weeks and it's been a long few weeks um i know on my last video i was trying to decide if i was going to get a um, another prey bait mold but i actually did it came in today so i have two of those um I will be getting some of the they got a new one now it's like 4.1 inch a lot smaller version uh, I will definitely be getting getting some of those for myself uh, top that one back off they should be set up enough it honestly does not take long when you have when you have these cooling plates I mean they are you don't want them ice cold but you want them nice and cool like I have um I have three of those little ice packs in there and it just keeps it nice and cool. You don't want it so cold where it sweats, but you know you want it cool enough where it helps maintain the temperature. Um anyway I'm gonna give that like a few seconds and then we're gonna show them and I'm gonna end this video and hopefully it won't be I'm gonna try to start doing some videos where it's not longer than 20 minutes. I mean because a lot of people honestly they don't want to sit there for 
30 40 minute videos it's you know people got stuff to do i need to try to i need to try to get used to doing like 10 15 minute videos um all right i think it's set enough we just gonna try it let me get this camera angle set go ahead and take her take her out see how it looks Moment of truth might be a waste of time, might not. I don't know. I'll let you decide. But that looks that looks pretty good. It it probably could use a, a touch darker. Um. So what I think I might do on the next, I'll show him how that looks. I so I'll show the customer how how that looks, which. To me, it looks good. Um, I personally, I personally think it looks really good. Um, I might would go a touch. I mean, I don't, like I say, I don't know if this is exactly the, this is great with yellow tail that I found online. I'm trying to get it to focus, but uh that is pretty close i might do one more run and just do a uh, like i say a run maybe of um one touch of a darker purple i'll show you this worm a little as soon as i got the mold i shot this worm in another color try to because that purple didn't want to show up real well in the uh you know to show you the ring because it's a ring worm but it's a cool little mold uh i'm actually gonna try to fish with a couple of these maybe this weekend but anyway all right there's that one let's let me drop in the camera let's hurry up and get this other one that way we can end this video and quit wasting all your time because you got i know people are I'm pressed on time you got better things to do than sit around and listen to me talk all day all right those look good and i actually these other ones in the three inch i actually done done these just for myself i mean i honestly done these just for myself i done a couple just in purple with no tips but because i've honestly I've, I've never thrown this color purple with yellow tips but i'll give it a try i mean i'll try just about anything at least once when it comes to fishing um yeah i think that looks good all right there's uh there's that little run anyway that's the little three inch stick bait mold i actually like this one a lot better than i thought i would but anyway uh we're gonna wrap this video up um thank you as always uh thank you for you know watching my channel um check out some of the other videos go like subscribe share uh give me a thumbs up thumbs down i mean if you don't find any of this useful whether any any little bit of critique is fine i mean um leave me some comments if there's anything you want me to show you um i plan on doing a, a video later on just to once i clean everything up like i say it's been very hectic you know here lately um uh, once i get everything situated again i plan on just going and doing like an updated shop review uh, because since the first review i done as far as my molds and stuff, I've actually got a lot more molds. Um, I have more molds that's supposed to be here this week, matter of fact. Um, so, anyway, uh, stay tuned and like always, thank you.